Here, we're going to look at another irregular verb, avoir, which means to have. Again, this is just irregular because it doesn't fit in the same paradigms that we've been looking at before, like ER and IR verbs. So each form is different, and each form must be learned. But because this verb, like être, is so important, we really have to put some emphasis on this. So for the first person singular, we have E, and with the pronoun je, we get j'ai. Again, because this starts with a vowel, the je contracts into j apostrophe, making j'ai. For the second person singular, we have tu a. For the third person singular, we have il a. These two, although spelled differently, are pronounced exactly the same, a. For the first person plural, we have nous avons. For the, for the second person plural, we have vous avez. And for the third person plural, we have ils ont. Now in all these three cases, we have this situation where because the verb starts with a vowel, the S of the word before it is pronounced as part of that word with the vowel. So we have nous avons, vous avez, and ils ont. In this case, with ils ont, we can see that this sounds and looks very similar to the word for they are, ils sont. But it's slightly different. The difference is between an S and a Z. Ils ont and ils sont. They have, ils ont, and they are, ils sont. This subtle difference is very important, and we have to pay attention to it. So how would we say, for example, the father has a chair, le père, the father, a, has, une chaise, a chair. Le père a une chaise. C'est tout.